Season 11 of The Walking Dead is almost over, so in preparation for that, I'm going to rank the first 10 seasons of The Walking Dead from the worst to the best. This is just my opinion, so let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Geek City, and I'm a big Walking Dead fan, and I've rewatched the first 10 seasons, we're going to be ranking them. I haven't actually started watching season 11, but I'm going to start today once I film this video. And the show's changed so much, I really, guys, I, just, I did just get a haircut, so if, this, if I play around with my hair a little bit, just, that's why. But, um, this is just, show has changed so much, and made me a little emotional re-watching it, thinking like, man, the show has just changed so much, like, it's so different, like, it is. Like, I don't know why I said rewatch. This is my first time watching it, but I don't know why I said rewatch. But anyway, yeah, watching it for the first time, just like by the end of season 10, I'm like, the show has changed so much from the first season. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Easily in last place is season 7. I did not necessarily love this season. I guess it had some good things about it, but Negan carried. Negan's such an interesting character because he's not necessarily likable because he murdered my favorite character, Glenn, but he's just really interesting. The season has some good action, but overall, it just doesn't land for me. And I feel like a lot of that's because all of our main characters are split up, and now they've done that since season 7, but it's just worked better. This was the first time seeing that, and it didn't work for me. And Ezekiel in the first, let's face it, in the first season Ezekiel was in, he was pretty unbearable. He was kind of annoying. Like, he really was, you know? So, that was kind of fr frustrating. So, I don't know specifics other than the fact that it just wasn't as good. It was really different from the first six, and that didn't work. Also, again, things just were not the same and have not been the same since Glenn and Abraham died, but mostly Glenn. Glenn was, like, the best character Really wish they didn't kill him off. And his death wasn't earned. Like, they just kind of killed him off. It wasn't earned. So, overall, I just don't think the season worked that well for me. Unfortunately. Next up at number 9 is Season 8. Now, I do think the season was better than Season 7. And it improves on some of the problems of Season 7. But it still kind of has that problem of I just don't enjoy it. All the group being split up so that didn't work and i feel like there i did enjoy that there was a lot of action this season since the season was basically just a war the entire time it was a war but it felt like there were just some things like some moments that i just meant like that doesn't make any sense for example in like the first two episodes first of all we get to see morales again which i guess is kind of cool but it makes no sense of like this was like seven years after season one. How did he happen to be in the exact same place as Rick Grimes after seven years in the same time? That just doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. Again, guys, haircut, so sorry about that. That just, that doesn't make sense. How they managed to be in the exact same spot, like over seven years, well, not seven years, but years after season one took place, how, had the, how did they manage to get in the exact same spot? Also, Morgan is just unbearable this season. Also, Eugene was pretty annoying. I feel like some characters I really, I used to like, just were really annoying this season. Rosita was basically just a grumpy grouch. I know that doesn't, that's not really where that makes sense, but I just combined two words that mean the same thing. But she was just a grouch the whole season, and I didn't really enjoy that. And I hate that they killed Carl off. I guess it was better earned than Glenn and Abraham's. At least he died saving someone. But still, there was no reason to kill him off. It didn't make sense. And the story about, like, why... Well, not why, but when they killed him off. what, How they treated Chandler Riggs about it. Just really... I really... Oh, my hair. God. Anyway, I really don't like that. What they did there. Um... I, I guess it was better than season seven, at least. Next up at number eight, now there is a big gap between these two, but next up at number eight is season five. The problem with this season is that I feel like for the first, like, ten episodes, it's, like, just kind of going nowhere. They go on a bunch of different adventures. They go to the hospital to rescue Beth, and then there's, 
just a whole bunch of random adventures. They went into Gabriel and the hot and like the church and the hot, just all this random stuff doesn't go together. They just happen. That's the first 10 episodes, pretty much. Now, the next five episodes are better because that's when we're introduced to Aaron and Alexandria. That's interesting. That should be what the season is about because there's a lot to flesh out. But the first 10 episodes is, so they meet Gabriel in the church. That's like the first five. And then Tyrese, he dies. Then they go to the hospital, rescue Beth, and she dies. Then they're all broken and sad. And that's when they find Aaron and they go to Alexandria. And then the final five episodes happen. Final five episodes are good because it's about Alexandria. We get to meet Enid, Aaron. Um, like, there are cool characters we get to meet. I just cared more about that than the first ten episodes. They just kind of went nowhere. And I wasn't as interested. I wasn't intrigued with them. That was the problem. Next up at number seven is season six. Now, this is the opposite. The first, like, nine, I don't know, exactly. The first nine episodes are really good because they're all this one, pretty much this whole big action scene at Alexandria. And one of the most horrifying scenes, I would say, in the entire show is in this season. Basically, Rick, Carl, Michonne, and then Jesse, um, and then her family basically all covered in the guts, hiding in, like, the zombies. So the kid is, like, distracted, and he gets eaten, and the kid eats Jesse. And so the son holds the gun. He gets stabbed by Michonne, but he shoots Carl's eye out. That's a horrific scene. It's a, it's a, a terrible scene. So that's good. And it has a great action scene, all this stuff about, um, like, just that whole first ten episodes is really good. And then the rest is about them, like, supposedly defeating the saviors and stuff and being captured by Negan. I guess it was intriguing, wanting to learn more about the saviors, but it still wasn't as fun as those first ten or nine episodes. Next up at number six, this may shock some people, but I'm going to go with season three. Some people say this is the best season. I disagree. I like this season. I don't love it. I, I just, the main problem is, I'm not a fan of the governor. I never have been, so he wasn't an intriguing villain to me. And then we had to spend a lot of time with Andrea. <clears throat> no one likes Andrea. So governor and Andrea being some of the main characters just does not work for me. But hey, at least Lori died, which everybody liked that. We do get introduced to Michonne. There are some good action scenes. We do get to meet Sasha and Tyrese. So there are some good characters we meet. But I just do not care about the governor, and I hate Andrea. So those two being some of the main characters just does not work for me, unfortunately. Next up at number five, season 10. I just finished watching it. Like, I just finished. He, he, um, here's Negan. Turn it off. Film this video. And I there. this season was really interesting because every season before this was 16 episodes. Other than season one and two, all of them were 16 episodes. This one is 22 episodes. That's fine. I mean, if they want to spend more time with the Whisperers, that's fine. But they don't. They defeat the Whisperers on episode 16. Should have just ended on episode 16. But it keeps going. And it's not interesting. Episodes 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 are boring. And they do not really move the story that much. They really don't. Like, they just... They don't, they're not interesting, and I feel like, honestly, like, what was the point? Like, one of the episodes is about Daryl, and, like, two of them are just about Daryl and Carol being Daryl and Carol and hunting. Then one is about Aaron and Gabriel, and that's just boring, and I, I don't care. Like, I just do not, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. And then one of them is about Maggie and Daryl, which I guess it was cool. It was cool to see Maggie again, because I did like Maggie. But, um... And then one of them, I guess, the most interesting was one, the one with Princess Yumiko, Eugene, and Ezekiel. I guess that one was kind of interesting, but still, it's kind of like, like those five episodes, I was just thinking like, this season could have easily ended after 16 episodes. Or 17, and here's why. The last episode of this season, top three favorite episodes. Number one being the grotto. That's my favorite episode. The look at the flowers on that's crazy. And then 
The set, my second favorite is the first episode. That's just iconic. And then here's Negan. Here's Negan. Amazing episode. This season managed to make me like Negan, which I never thought I would like Negan because what he did in season seven and eight. But this season re made me like Negan, especially that last episode. And I had like a tear. Like, it was sad. It was really interesting. We get to learn about Negan's backstory and why he's so obsessed with the baseball bat and why he acts like it's a real person. We get to learn all this stuff. This has been stuff I've been wondering since season seven. Like, why is he obsessed with a baseball bat? Why is he like, where's Lucille? It all makes sense now. I loved what they did with Negan and they made him likable. And also, I did not expect them to kill Alpha that early. Um, or Sadiq. Sadiq, his death came out of nowhere. Next up at season four is a season that a lot of people don't like, which I don't understand. It is season two. People are like, oh, this is the boring season when they're on the farm, you know, doing nothing. And I've just, I've never, I've never agreed with them because um, I think it has a lot of great moments in it. First of all, we get introduced to Herschel and Maggie, some of my favorite characters. We get to, we get the ending of Shane's character arc. That is just sad, really. It's just it's sad, kind of, about how we became, he was at first this great guy who cared about Rick and his family, to someone who was obsessed with Rick's wife and wanted to kill Rick. So, at the end, whenever Rick has to kill Shane, it's emotional, and then Carl has to shoot Shane as a zombie. It's sad stuff. And, but I think the most, the craziest scene that made it one of, one of my favorite seasons is, it's basically in episode one of the season, Sophia is lost. So, like, the whole show, they're looking for him. And they find Sophia as a zombie. So, basically, they've been doing all the searching for a nine-year-old who's pretty much been dead since that episode she was lost. Well, we don't know the exact date, but it had to have been that first one because they were introduced to Herschel in episode two, and they would have seen if Herschel had put Sophia in the barn. So, most likely, it was, like, episode one that she died in. That's just really interesting. So, I, I really liked the season. I've never understood why people find this a boring season. Yeah, so we also had some emotional deaths. Dale, I like Dale. I hate that he died that early. I guess Shane was kind of emotional, even though at the end I just hated Shane. And again, Sophia's, that was an emotional thing, and that made me like... <sighs> Next up at number three, season nine. I loved this season. I don't know why, but I was thinking about putting it number one, and then I realized, no, it's not number one, but it's really, really good. Now, the first five episodes are really good. They're about Rick Grimes. He's all injured. And at the end of it, they make us think that he died. But what's funny is that they set him up to do these Walking Dead movies that never happened. Basically, he left the show for nothing. Because I don't think he's coming back because they're doing the Rick and Michonne spinoff. Which, I hate that. I Instead of doing a Rick and Michonne spinoff, I wish they'd just bring him back to The Walking Dead for this final season. But I don't think they're doing that. Um, so, um... That that was just really shocking that he they they made us think he died at the end with the bridge, but he didn't. Then episode six and up are really good because there's a six year time jump. We're introduced to the whisperers. The whisperers are wild. They're just creepy. Like they're just creepy, and it's like a horror. Like they makes it kind of a horror show, which I guess it already was. But it's like there were scary scenes with them, and I don't get scared easily. But they were like eerie, like. I was, like, on the edge of my seat. And they kill off some great characters. I hated that they killed off Jesus. Didn't see that coming. But I think the craziest thing that happened in this season was in the calm before, episode 15, the calm before, at the very end. That gave me the heebie-jeebies because they find ten people, their heads on poles. Or sticks, whatever. And three main characters died. Main characters, I guess so. Enid, didn't expect that. Really liked Enid. Henry, kind of thought he had it coming, but still, it was shocking. Tara, didn't like Tara. But still, it was, like, terrifying to see their face on a pole. Like, oh my gosh. Like, their decapitated head on a pole. I was just like, I watched that for the first time and I was shocked. That's the thing I remember most from the season. How terrifying the whispers were. They killed off so many characters. And they killed off Sadiq in season 10. The Whisperers are wild. Coming in at, um, at number two, season one. The season that started it all. Just so good. Like, there's nothing... I wouldn't say there's anything bad. 
The only like problem, I guess, was episode six. That season, that episode wasn't great, I guess, but it was just so good. Like it was just great. I almost debated putting this at number one, but just such a good season that I think that most people would consider this the best season, and I understand why. It's really, really good. We inter we get introduced, to, of course, Rick, Carl. Glenn, all these great characters that we know and love, Daryl, Carol, who are still on the show, it, and it's so cool to see how different people were in season one and how they are on their last season, like, Carol has completely changed, she was, like, this weakling in season one, and now she's one of the coolest characters on the show, it's so fun, so, like, I really want to rewatch this season, but I'm gonna wait for season 11 to come out, because then I'm sure I'll get even more emotional now that the show will be over by the time I rewatch season one. But in first place for me is going to be season four, and I don't think this will change. And the reason for that, the first eight or so episodes is about there's basically this virus going around. It gets people infected, and they become zombies. And that's just, it, I relate to that because of COVID. But yeah, it's just like this, like, like, this virus going around. It's really, it's awful, really. But then Governor comes in for his final two episodes, which I guess those two episodes are really boring because it was just his backstory. But he comes back for one more episode and he kills Herschel, which I hate because I really liked Herschel. But I was shocked. So I give him credit. And then the final part is basically the whole group is split apart. And those final like seven episodes are about them trying to come back together and meet up at Turnimus, which Turnimus turns out to be a terrible place full of cannibals. But they didn't know that. So overall, um, I, I really, really did enjoy this season. This is my favorite season. So pretty much, I love every single season. Even season seven wasn't great. Maybe not even good. But I still just love The Walking Dead. And can't believe we're on the final season. And I'm going to start watching it today. I will probably post a review once I've seen every episode. That'll be in a few months. Because every episode hasn't even released yet. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.